Alicia, thank you very much. It's 5.02 right now. We have a developing story we've been watching all night. Yeah, Occupy protesters are back in the national spotlight after a weekend of some violent clashes. And some people are being told to move out or risk arrest. News Channel 5's Josh Boost now working on this in the Breaking News Center. Josh, we understand you got reaction from Occupy Cleveland overnight. What are they saying? Yeah, sure did. Well, like many of the groups, Mike, uh, many of those Occupy groups out there around the country, they're frustrated after a violent weekend for both protesters and police out there. Take a look at this video. This is a march last night in New York's East Village that ended in arrests. There was also a march in Chicago last night. Protesters in those cities walked in support of Occupy. Oakland protesters because on Saturday about 400 people were arrested in Oakland after police say some people broke into City Hall there and caused some damage. Now, police used tear gas and beanbag bullets after they say protesters started destroying a vacant construction site and throwing rocks at officers. Now, this came despite many protesters' claims of being peaceful. In Washington, D.C., as well, the Park Service there told protesters they had until noon today to move, saying they can't camp overnight where they've been uh, just a few blocks from the White House. They've been there for a while now. And the Occupy Cleveland group at Public Square told me just a few hours ago, hey, they've been targeted as well. Uh, there was one cop that actually stopped by and said, I want to make sure you're not raping women in there. That's what he said to me. I just couldn't believe that. Uh, he just harasses us. It's the same cop that comes and harasses us all the time. And Pesker thinks the arrests and the violence does prevent people from coming out to support their cause. If some of the Occupy group leaders say, hey, look, we're back in the news right now. Our message is getting out there. The problem, though, is the focus on the coverage is the violence and all the problems going on across the country, not that message they want to get out there. Live in the breaking news center, Josh Boost, News Channel 5, Mike and Macy. Certainly will be, will be pretty interesting to see uh, what happens in the coming days here. Yeah, Josh, and if anything happens this morning, we're going to let everybody know. Josh, thank you very much.